My name's David Van Orn, the Executive Director of Events Corp, and I'll uh, MC and facilitate the proceedings today. Um, we're here, of course, uh, to announce the 2012 FINA World Junior Men's and Women's Water Polo Championships, the under-18 version. And we'll be hearing from uh, two speakers today, of course, the Minister for Tourism, the Honourable Dr Kim Hames, and also the CEO okay, of Australian now. Water Polo Inc, Mr Chris Harrison. Okay. So we'll go straight to the Minister uh, and say a few words. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. We've covered our best. Go on. So, thank you. Yes, thanks very much. And, and just recognise Chris and, and Tom. Great to see you again. And this is an exciting time for us in Western Australia. We've been very successful. Uh, in, in recent months, particularly in securing uh, world-class events, and this is another, the FINA World Under-18 Men's and Women's Water Polo Championship is coming to Perth in December 2012. There'll be 36 teams all together from 20 different nations, 20 men's teams and 16 women's teams, and we expect that not only to produce a significant boost to our economy, with over 1,300 people coming here to be a part of that event, but also be, again, great entertainment for the people of Western Australia. And we have got used to having great swimming events here, and Tom Hode in particular has played a critical role in making sure we've had world championships here, we've had masters championships here, and now the world under 18 championships. First time men and women have been together at the same venue at the same time uh, for this particular event and uh, I'm very proud to be here in Western Australia where we can attract events like this. As you can see, we've got great facilities here um, and uh, I'd just like to congratulate you, Tom, on the, uh, congratulate Tom Ho on the great work he's been doing, working together with our people in Events Corps to make sure we bring you fantastic events like this. So uh, that's all I need to say and I'm going to hand over to Chris and uh, I think to Tom to make some further comments. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister. Um, when one thinks of WA, we talk about resources. The fact of the matter is you would normally think of, the, of what's in the ground. The reality of WA, you've had two swimming world championships in 91 and 98, two junior women water polo world championships in 99 and 2003, FINA Women's World Cup in 2005, Commonwealth Championships in 2006, and the World Masters in 2008. WA's fast, fastly, fast becoming the centre for water polo, and we're proud to be a part of it. And I particularly want to thank the Western Australian Government and Events Corp for helping us in this successful bid for this event. I mean, the reality of which is, where would you rather have it being in Perth in beautiful summer or in the European winter and it's uh, absolutely no argument. So again, thanks very much. Hey Chris, uh, great to see another major event coming to Australia. Fabulous opportunity Russell and as I think as the Minister alluded to, it's the first time that the under 18 men's and women's have been held together and I think it's a good news. Right, we've got two aspirants for the national side for the 2012 uh, 18 and under world championships. We've got Jess Zimmerman and Dorothy Zalagi. And I'm going to ask you right now, you know, what it would be like to play here? Um, well, I think it would be a great opportunity to have it in, like, a hometown. And it would be, um, and all of our, like, family and friends can come and watch as well, because it's here. Um, yes, I think it would be really good if it was here in Perth. Yeah, it would be great just getting our friends and family along to come. Yeah, we'll enjoy it. And what about playing along with the, you know, the elite of the world? What do you think about that? It's a great opportunity for both of us. Yeah, like it's really good experience, and like we learn a lot from it from playing with more elite players. And yeah, the experience is really good. And what about the lead up to 2012 in December? What uh, trips do you hope to be going on? Um, there's um, a 94 trip in July to either Europe or America. I think that's the one that we hope to go on, be going on. And I wish you luck in the coming year. So good luck to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you.